What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. I don't really know why I bother, but... Another video about human-caused climate change and the scientific consensus. I saw a video posted this morning complaining about how Al Gore was wrong about something. I only looked at 17 seconds of the video to see if it was worthy of my attention. I will share it with everybody now and see it for the first time while making this video. However, the person that made that video, I have a question for you. Slave, are you prepared to suffer? And if not, stop watching now. <sighs> the global warming is a debate which has been moving in and out of the front pages of the news cycle for many years now. To be more correct, global warming is not a debate. It is a phenomena observed in the natural environment. What is causing it, what has caused it, what is continuing to cause it, has been debated for 180 years. Decades ago, the world's geophysicists came to a conclusion on what is causing that. Some people haven't got the news yet. Let's take a look. Most considered a foregone conclusion uh, with potential catastrophic results. Yes, almost all of geophysicists on the planet have agreed that catastrophic results not only will happen, but are currently being observed happening due to human-caused climate change. This is demonstrable. We observe it happening now. While others contend it's a complete myth built up by the media. What non Scientists and non-experts in the scientific venues have concluded is totally irrelevant. After reviewing the video on YouTube, Al Gore debates global warming. Link below. Okay, I give up. Why should we give a shit what Al Gore has said about human-caused climate change and global warming? Who fucking cares? And you saw a video on YouTube, therefore, you have concluded all the world's geophysicists are wrong. An argument can be made about the positions between a group of qualified climatologists and Al Gore's opinion on global warming. Al Gore's opinion on global warming is what the world's climatologists have concluded. Uh, based on these opposing views... Okay, I give up. Show the opposing views. Where are they? Certainly not in the peer-reviewed science journals. In the past four years, there have been eight independent surveys of the world's geophysicists regarding the current global temperature anomaly and its causes. The world's experts have concluded, with consensus ranging from 91.7% to 99.98%, that humans are the cause. In fact, I used to keep track of all of the world's science organizations when they issued a statement regarding human-caused climate change. After more than 666 entries from 35 countries, I stopped maintaining the list because all of them except one have stated the same thing. They all agree with the world's geophysicist on the subject. The single lone science organization out there that has stated they're not sure what is causing the increase in global average temperature is the Association for Petroleum Geologists. Gosh, what are the odds? A universal conclusion on the arguments about the cause of climate change can be made. Al, Gore's claim, Al Gore claims carbon dioxide is driving the Earth's temperature up based on current unprecedented levels of carbon dioxide reported through the ice core record. Yes, and all of the world's geophysicists agree with him. Or all of the world's geophysicists have made that conclusion, and Al Gore accepts that a conclusion. Al Gore is not telling the scientists what to conclude. It's the other way around. And climatologists claim higher temperatures actually drive the Earth's carbon dioxide levels. And they are absolutely correct. 
celestial mechanics dictate if planet Earth is going to cool or warm. Greenhouse gases in Earth's atmosphere say by how much. Increase carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, the planet warms. Decrease carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, the planet cools. Celestial mechanics, specifically Milankovitch cycles, dictate the direction Earth's temperature will take. Greenhouse gases dictate what the temperature will be. Both correct. And then humans came along and fucked it all up by putting greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, chiefly carbon dioxide and methane. When you do that, water vapor also increases, adding a feedback loop. This has been known since the 1950s. Which are not currently at unprecedented levels. No scientists have said it is unprecedented in Earth's atmosphere. The current level is unprecedented in the past 3 million years. It is unprecedented the cause. People, no scientist has said, Earth's atmospheric greenhouse gases have not been greater than they are now. No scientist makes that claim. Why, therefore, are you attacking it? By combining those two opposing views, a uh, connection between carbon dioxide levels and the Earth's temperature can be concluded. Combining opposing views. One side, all of the world's geophysicists. The other side, you and your ilk, who looked at a video on YouTube and concluded the scientists are all wrong. Why would somebody combine scientific expert opinion, which they've all concluded, and wrong answers? Regardless of the order of effects. So now we'll use a basic reasoning chart to look at these opposing views. Um, so on one side we have Al Gore and on the other side climatologists. Both groups of which have concluded the exact same thing. Al Gore believes CO2 levels are driving the Earth's temperature higher. Yes, and so do all the world's geophysicists. And Al Gore claims CO2 levels are currently at unprecedented levels. No, he did not state that. Uh, climatologists claim higher temperatures drive the Earth's CO2 levels. Yes, and they are absolutely correct. Al Gore, by the way, agrees. And cli climatologists claim CO2 levels are not currently at unprecedented levels. Neither did Al Gore say that. He did say unprecedented levels in the past 800,000 years. Scientists have now concluded it is at unprecedented levels in 3 million years. Why are you attacking a position nobody defends because nobody has stated? I know why! It is so much easier to attack a position nobody's defending. Let me guess. You're an idiot. No, wait. You're an idiot. Or could it be you're an idiot? Um, so the conclusion is climate carbon dioxide uh, levels in the Earth's temperature is somehow related. Um, it's the common uh, among the two differing opinions. Differing opinions. The world's geophysicists all agree. Al Gore agrees with them. What difference of opinion are you talking about? Both. <laughs> the world's geophysicists have stated when Earth's temperature increases, Carbon dioxide content in the atmosphere increases. When Earth's temperature decreases, carbon dioxide in the Earth's atmosphere decreases. When carbon dioxide in the atmosphere increases, Earth's temperature increases. Decrease atmospheric carbon dioxide in Earth's atmosphere, temperature decreases. Both happen. All four things happen. All of the world's geophysicists agree. Al Gore agrees with them. 
It is not Al Gore dictating policy to all of the world's geophysicists, atmospheric chemist, astrophysicists. They all agree, and Al Gore agrees with them. This is not rocket science. This is basic physics. You should have learned these things in high school. You have internet access. You should know these things. Instead, you looked at a video on YouTube. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it.